Hey, what's up, guys? Foxy Dubs coming back at you guys today with a brand new video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video, obviously, well, I guess not obviously, if you guys see it on Captain Price right here, we are going to be using the Dark Matter Ultra or the DM Ultra, as Apollo likes to call it. On the nail gun, we got it unlocked here, bros. It looks pretty nice. Honestly, I'm going to be real, it's one of the best weapons to get DM Ultra or Dark Matter Ultra on. So we're going to showcase that and all that good stuff. You know, I, if you guys don't mind dropping a like, or uh, early, I guess, if you guys want to. Also, code FOXY is 30% off at gfield.com right now until June 28th. Link is down in the description. If you guys want to use that, it's greatly appreciated. All that good jazz, you know, all that good stuff. It's beautiful. Yeah, I don't know if you guys really checked out yesterday's video, or I guess the video from the day before. I, you know, I'm trying. I'm going to try and do this, like, thing where I upload every other day like I used to. If you guys have been around on the channel long enough, those of you who are still here at least, I'm pretty sure that you guys know that I used to upload every other day. And actually, during World War II, I uploaded every day. So those were the days there, bros. I definitely want to get back to that, like I said in the, the last video. But if you guys didn't check out the last video, we played Modern Warfare 2 and all that good stuff, and it was just a really good time. I don't really know what to upload at the moment. I think you guys do enjoy the camo videos, or at least I mean, that's what I've noticed that people enjoy when it comes to my content is... So I guess cam unlocking camos and things like that. So if you guys want me to go around on Black Ops Cold War and unlock Dark Matter Ultra for like all the all the DLC weapons, because I mean like obviously I have it considering that you know it's on the nail gun right now. If you guys want me to go unlock it on the other weapons in the game, I guess DLC weapons, because I don't have it on every DLC weapon. I'm pretty sure I got it for the first batch of DLC weapons, like the Mac 10. God, I can't remember. I think it was the Grossa El Gross. And I can't remember what other weapons there were that came out. I think the Striker also came out that season, but I don't think I got Dark Matter Ultra on it. So if you guys want me to go and do that for Dark Matter Ultra or whatever for the, the other weapons I haven't done, I mean, I could do that. I mean, it's kind of late by now. I, I guess another thing I could do is I could also do like new variants. I know that Cold War came out with a new variant yesterday, yesterday or like a blueprint, whatever it is. I think it's the, 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 I don't know. It's got a shark on it. That's all I know. Okay. <laughs> but uh it's uh it's a cool it's a cool blueprint you know i call them variants because that's what i've always called them I, I don't really know like what to put out as far as content on this game goes honestly someone commented on my last video and they were like wow this dude went on like five tangents and it was like well well yeah because like i can't sit here and talk about call of duty all the time i mean like i i, I just i just can't it's like it's just not possible you know, i can't just sit here and talk about just anything cod related especially within this game because this game is not that great and also because there's not really much to talk about unless they announce like a playlist update but even then i'm not gonna sit here and just like read off what you could read on the patch notes you know i mean like i'll talk i'll, I'll maybe like mention like a couple things because that might be all i know of because i don't really pay attention to patch notes like the mg82 for example i know that they nerfed that when they were um uh, for warzone because it was a huge deal because the gun had no recoil and it was way too overpowered it was like i just kind of get on and play you know i kind of treat this as if i'm playing with my buddies like back when it was like Modern warfare 2 and Modern warfare 3 i just get on and play if there's an update cool i know that there's an update out but i don't go ahead and read all the patch notes and all that stuff like that that day god does that i don't need to do that there's other youtubers and content creators that do that and if there's something big that happens that, like yeah sure I'll, I'll you know i'll talk about it maybe but like i could sit here and talk about the new cod that, that's gonna come out i mean if if there's gonna be one that comes out i guess i'm gonna assume that there's gonna be one that comes out i mean i don't know why there wouldn't be a new cod unless they actually want to not put out a cod this year which honestly i really wouldn't mind if they didn't put out a new call of duty i do think that they need to do every other year from now on but they're not going to because halo and battlefield are coming out with new games this year and they want to compete with them and honestly i think that's one of the best things that's going to happen to call of duty this year is that i do think that activision is going to have their hands full this year when battlefield and halo both come out i can't remember the last time halo and battlefield and call of duty all came out together in one year i'm pretty sure it was like 10 years ago it was like halo reach battlefield 4 i can't remember when battlefield 4 came out and it was uh, black ops i know black ops and halo reach came out in the same year because i didn't really i mean not that i didn't like them at the time because black ops is a great game i love black ops zombies and i love halo reach for what it was but i'm a huge halo 3 fan and i'm a pretty big modern warfare 2 fan as well so going from modern warfare 2 and halo 3 to black ops and uh halo reach it was just kind of like meh for me you know it'll be interesting to see what happens i'm really hoping that battlefield 2042 and halo infinite have a great anti cheat so that way activision can stop messing around and actually put an anti-cheat in warzone and in their 
games, you know? And I don't want you guys to think that I'm saying that Call of Duty is going to end up, you know, dying or, oh, it's going to put a real dent in them. Like, no, like Call of Duty is a best-selling game every single year. And there's a reason for that, for, you know, respectfully. I wish Call of Duty had the type of community that Halo does. The devs really talk to their players and they really get feedback at least now they do. It wasn't like that, I'd say like five years ago, back in 2015. But I will say that this time, six years ago, 343 wasn't really great at communicating with the community. And uh, you know, now, six years later in 2021, they're having their own, they're having their own flight programs, which means you can test it out for the devs. That way they can resolve any issues that we have. I love that because I did that for Master Chief Collection. It's just a great way to get the community involved. And it shows that you care. And I really wish Call of Duty did that. I really, really wish Call of Duty did that. How awesome would it be if we could go out, or not go out, but if they gave us like a flight program, you had to sign up and pretty much alpha test. They come, I guess, next month, July. We could do flight programs for whatever the next COD game is gonna be. I understand that like Call of Duty kind of like Boy, if you don't it wants there to be hype around their games and they don't really reveal them because they want there to be hype around the game that's just what cod does and, like i understand that but at the same time i feel like the game needs to be complete and it needs to be looked at and played by the community before the beta even comes out honestly as much as i don't like this game and the streak system and things like that without the alpha to be as polished as it could be during a pandemic and all this other stuff so you know i don't know i just kind of went on a rant right there sorry about that did anyone watch the nba last night because the clippers i don't put an ass whooping on the on the suns and honestly i didn't really expect that considering that the suns had cp3 back and i guess because it was the first game in the series in la that they were probably gonna cop a dub i mean they don't even have Kawhi, and they beat the suns by like i don't know i think it was like more than 15 points almost it kind of felt like the clippers couldn't miss last night and I was, I think the Suns were within, a, I think a couple points or whatever. And the Clippers just wouldn't miss. And I was like, all right, well, this is one of those games where one team just can't miss and the other team just misses almost everything. That's what was happening. You know, Devin Booker and Chris Paul, dude, they were down bad, bro. I'm pretty sure that at one point, both of them combined were like seven for 20 for field goals. And I was just like, good God, dude. Like what? What is going on? I mean, it was Chris Paul's first game back after being quarantined with COVID and stuff like that. Tested positive or whatever. But I mean, you know, I didn't expect it to be like that, but I'm sure it'll be different next game. I also watched the Islanders game the other night. That was a crazy overtime win. I don't really know the players on the on the, uh, on the the Islanders or the uh, Montreal Canadiens. Well, I guess the Canadiens advanced to the finals last night. I can't remember who the Islanders are playing. Isn't it like the Lightning or something like that? No, it's the Maple Leaf. Now, honestly, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's the Lightning. Like the nail gun, like I don't really mind the nail gun. I think it's cool and all. I just, like I said in the original nail gun video, if you guys haven't watched that, you guys can go check that out or whatever. I, I said that the trophy system, destroying the nails is really annoying. And I talked to Foxhound about it and he said that he would look at it. I guess that was when the nail gun released. What are you aiming at? To me, it's just like a super buzz kill. It, it, when you're playing hard point and domination, it's just, yeah, I don't really know if they're gonna fix it, but I wish that there was attachments. But other than that, it's super fun to use and the camo looks super clean too. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Oh so, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.